And now in a CBS2 exclusive, there is hope for paralysis patients, and it may come from a patch. Some spinal cord injury patients have regained movement in their hands and arms after electrode stimulation. Researchers tell CBS2's Jennifer McLogan that this has never been done before. My life ended that day, or at least I thought it did. Sharon Ladisi was the victim of a serious car crash last year. Depression sank in like the day that I realized I couldn't move. It. The single mom from Westbury lost all sensation in her hand. 16 doctors told her it was permanent and to get on with her life. I got to the point where I really was considering just going away. I'm not embarrassed to say this because it hits you that hard. There's over 100 million people worldwide living with some level of movement impairment or paralysis. Professor Boughton and his team reached out to Sharon with peripheral nerve injury and Casey with spinal cord injuries to join others in a Feinstein Institute's study. We have developed a, uh, a patch uh, that electrically stimulates the spinal cord itself. You place it over the base of the neck. This allows us to promote uh, regrowth and reconnections. 700 percent increase in muscle strength. It was a very surprising benefit. They were able to figure out a way to get my brain, my spine to communicate to my hand and regain, to start to restore movement. No surgery, no side effects, no drugs. Researchers here believe bioelectronic medicine is the future of healthcare. Sharon will be able to work and drive again to cook and clean simple things, opening a bottle of water and the personal. Blow drying, the brushing the hair, the feminine hygiene. There's no cure for paralysis right now. There's no pill you can take. So restoring sensation and movement in the human hand. This has not been done before and we're very excited about this. It's bringing back my life and my daily functions that you take for granted. Researchers here are next working on a chip implant in the motor area of the brain to redirect thought patterns, activating muscles in a paralyzed body. From Manhasset, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. Promising work and results.